Steve G. now so at the time for questions right before the open. We'll do it later. <coughs> if you're here for the open house, you should just be absorbing anyways. Okay, this looks good. I have a cleaning lady here, so you're going to hear noises, by the way. Okay, stop's going to be 3630. 3630. We're going to do 49 by 30. 49 by 30. Here, do it. Do it. Get in right now. Stop is 3630. KHC. And here, here it hit. It hit. It hit, hit, hit. You got to be in it. Now, let's give it 35. I don't even think that's necessary. Give it 35. Here we go. 35, that was the first target. Here it goes, great call. Here it goes, right on down. Beautiful move, here it goes, let's watch it at 35. Gotta watch it at 35. Here, what a nice move, here. And you could scale out of some if you want. I know some of you do that. You could do it again here if you want. You could do it again here if you want. Brent, you could do it right here. You could do it right here if you want. Or you could wait. Let me just quick see what GIS did. DBX is going to. This is already gone. DBX is already gone. Now that did work. I figured a bunch of things are going to work today. I pretty much was right on that. Not doing this STMP. DBX was the one already gone and then the one that we're in. And if you didn't do it, you could do it here. Got to get the stop in though. Still have to size yourself for the correct stop. Get quick. Target looks great. Muddy, the stop, I'm concerned this is two days this week that you asked me where the stop was like a hundred years after the trade is already on. So uh, I know you're practicing, but if you were doing a live trade, you couldn't take it until you knew where the stop was, which I do call out. We'll go over it when we're done, but don't do this here now. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't hear it. You can't be doing stuff and then not knowing what the sizing is. Stop is 3630, but you shouldn't be asking after in the trade. It, that's very important to get your sizing right. Very important to get your sizing right. If you don't know where the stop is, then how do you size yourself? You can't just take it and put the stop in later. Do you know what I'm saying? That's concerning. what 
this does. I've got the stuff. It's 36.30. I still like it. I didn't get out of any. I don't think there would have been any reason to. If you scaled out of some, fine. I'm not moving the stop. We're going to see how this acts. For some reason, we get stopped in this. I'm going to keep watching it. Maybe I'll go along the market as well. I think this is going to hold, though. Like we could go along the market now, but I'm really not necessarily wanting to do two trades at once here today, and I do like this craft. So if you're in it, stop again. It's 36.30, and we're not giving it any room. If you didn't do it, you're going to get a chance to do it because it's going to reset up here. Back, let me quick and see really quickly what else is going on today with reports. I don't think that there is anything that I didn't know about. Just let me check if there's anything at 9.40, 9.45. I don't really want to be in anything long today. No, there is a bunch. Just, no, there isn't anything today. No, there's nothing today. Everything was yesterday, so we should be clear. Some news out about Trump and the Democrats or something, something. I don't think that's going to affect us whatsoever. Breaking news about that. Okay, if you didn't do this now here, you could do it here, Muddy. But the stop is 3630. Here it goes. This is a nice call. 34 would be a really good number in this today. I'm not saying I'm holding it to 34, but we'll watch it in the 34 somethings. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look quick at the market again. So let's look at CBX again. So this had a move. Market's just getting going. Market is tempting now. Man, this is tempting. same time though it's two things at the same time well, let's just stay with this I you can go along the market though I mean it's the market's gonna go Here we go. KHC, under 50, you could do it again. You could add if you feel like getting nuts. Didn't hit under 50 again yet, yeah, but it will. Again, stops the same. Here we go. Really nice call. Really nice week here. We're in a groove. We're in a nice groove here. And yesterday, Domino's went to three, 250. I knew it would. <laughs> I, knew it would. I knew it would. But we got to get back in a groove here. We're doing things and we're in and out quick. I mean, the last month we've been just holding stuff long and it's just, I don't want to start doing that all year. It's just better to be done quick. 9.39. We will be done today soon. Soon, 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 soon. Trades are the best. DBX had one move. Just going to leave that. Market looks fine. This looks fine. And this didn't do anything at all. What was the other one that everybody liked? Doesn't look like it's really doing much of anything. Here we are. Yay, we picked the best one. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thunk it? 
KHC under the low, which was 3510. We'll get a flush and we're done. Here we go. And you had a lot of time to take it. Brent, did you do it then in the end? Brent has a new trading plan. He's going to follow it. And he's not going to question it. He's not going to be like Galahad. He's going to be the opposite. He's going to write it down and he's going to write it in blood. And then he's going to sign it with his name in blood. He said, yes, he did. Here we go. KHC. So far today, did you follow your plan? Here we go, KHC. Mimi, are you here? Where's Mimi, Mimi, Mimi? Mimi, did you do the trade? Mimi didn't get yesterday's trade for some reason. Here we go, KHC. Here, beautiful call. Really nice call. Let it drop, drop, drop. Let it try to break 35. It's gonna break 35, hold on. Hold on, Bootsy. Here we go. Under 35. Let's just see where this goes. Ooh, nope. Didn't break it yet. Mimi's in it. Mimi, you're going to make money this whole week. I don't know why you didn't do the one yesterday, but you're going to have a wonderful week. 35. Okay, you could get out here if it bounces, but I think it breaks 35, so you're on your own to decide what to do here. You want to get out? Fine. Want to bar by bar? Fine. Want to hold it? Fine. It's up to you. This is a move. Here we go. Come on, 35 and 2. There. Oh, that's going to break it. I don't know why it's taking so long. Quick, somebody short a million shares. <laughs> Quick, hurry. Uh, well, we didn't break it yet. 35, 35. Here's the market. Here's this. This I would not do anything with. We did the best one. So you could be out. If you think it's going to break 35, you can hold it. If you wanted to be out, that's fine too. Doesn't matter. We got a little bit more time here, only 943. Well, let's see what whatchamacallit is doing here today. <sighs> Two fifty oh two. Could that have been more exact? No, it could not have been. <laughs> it, I could not have been more exact about that number. Two cents. That looks dead today, though. Dead with no volume. All right, KHC, if you're in it, you're in it. If you're out, you're out. Either way. Mimi, you probably should have been out, but I don't know what you're doing. Hector's out. Thanks for breakfast. Yep. Hector's doing really well. Hector's new. Hector's new and listens. He just closes his eyes and takes the trades and takes them. And when he's up and he gets out, it's really not like rocket science. <laughs> Hector's doing very well with everything. Hector's just like, okay, this girl knows what she's doing. I'm just going to follow her. Do. Mimi got out too. Yay. Mimi had a wonderful week. Hector says, yes, I do. Canty got out. You got your computer working today. That's good. So if you're in it, that's fine. If you're in it, you're still up. If you're holding, that's fine. We got a little bit more time here. I don't want to hold anything long today. Got a lot to do today. Classes this weekend. TV's up in the air.
Who's doing what? Jackie is out or in it? Shower singer's in it? Jackie's in it? Target looks great. I'm gonna go on the market too, but I don't know if it's a quick trade, so let's just stick with the ones that's working. Brent's still in it, Trend Trader's in it, Catherine's in it, and here we go. Here we go, this is it though. We're not looking for any specific number whatsoever. We're just gonna do the trade and get out when it flushes through the low anywhere we go. Although this could go to, I mean, this could go to 34. 34. This could drop another dollar. 34.50 is probably realistic. Because again, the market's very strong. Here we go, under the low, 35. Nice end of the week, still earning season. We'll be in our tippy toes once earning season is over. Felt like I was on my tippy toes this week, though. Here we go. KHC. Hmm. Here it goes. Here it goes. Let it break. 35. If you're still in it, this is it. Let it break. Uh, Steve asked about the point system. The point system is 26 points. If it's 20 points or more, we can do it. If it doesn't, we're not. No, it just didn't break it yet again. What the heck? 35, 3501. Oh, this is nonsensical. Nonsensical. Walter was asking about TV. It was on yesterday. So my assistant, my assistant does emails. Did he put the wrong date in? It was yesterday. It was on at four. Clips on YouTube. I don't know, this bounced off 35 again. Not a hard bounce by any means whatsoever at all, but now we're still waiting, 948. So you could have been out of that there if you weren't out of it the first time just to be safe. I don't think I'm being a pig waiting for this to go. I do have a high level of conviction that it is going to go. Guess we're gonna wait and see. There's nothing holding this up at all. Dave. It went. It's just a matter of how big it's going to go. You have people, let me just quick check something here, but you have people that love, as you very well know, to buy these big gap downs, traders, not institutions. I can tell you right now, no institutions buy in this stock today. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the reasons why we're, we're in it. I mean, there's just no way, no how. Never going to happen in a million years. Was any institution going to buy this stock today? So you have traders that are buying it for a gap fill, which clearly you can see the stock's lower, but I'm just saying it rated well. Dividend or no dividend isn't going to do anything here for this. So either the target was 35 and that was it and the trade is over or it's going to go and break it. So I hope I'm not hedging my bets. That was profit down there. Hit it, hit it good. Got a great price, but I'm still up in the trade. So time of the day is 9.49. Wanted a quick day. Let's just give this till 10 o'clock. I don't think that's asking for the moon. I don't think that's asking for the moon or the stars, but nothing's holding it up. It broke. It went 50 cents. Here, DBX is going again. Again, I didn't do this. I did rate it. This is this set up twice. I didn't think it was going to, but it did. Hey, she, we're in. If you're in this, you're still up. If you get out of it, fine. May set up again, I don't know. We're waiting. But that was certainly profit in there. Not one arm, but enough. It's 
So we're going to have to wait a little bit, but I think this could be worth the while if it goes, meaning the move could be pretty big now under the low. I mean, I was probably going to get out in the 90s or the 80s or something, but now at this point, if this does go down and break that 35 number, this will just kaboom. So it's really your call. Like I said, I said it when it touched it. You had 100 years to get out of this. You could have got out of it here, 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 here. So... We're giving it a little bit of time. This really worked better than I expected. Went right down to the target. It's 23. I don't know if it breaks that. Market looks so tempting though, doesn't it? It's just like you just want to do two things, but I don't want to get crazy, and this is working. Hit your daily profit goal. Thank you. You're welcome. So tempting to just go along the market too, but let's just stick with this. Finally took your first live train. Listen to your advice and get out when you're up. Good job. Gyro's in and out. Very good. Have a great trip. Gyro's going away. When are you back? Are you are you gone the whole week? Or just for a couple of days? I forget. Jair spends more time on an airplane than he does at home. <laughs> Gone for the week. Have a great time. Secret to a happy marriage is travel? Oh. I'll have to keep that in mind. <laughs> Says Jackie. Here goes the market. I'm going to be very disciplined today. That market keeps trying to suck me in, but I don't think it's going to be a fast trade. I mean, you could, you could go along the market and scalp it, scalp it, but that might even take a half an hour, hour. And if this goes down, this could, we could be done in this in 10 minutes. So market's tempting. Keep looking at it every second. Every second. Okay, we're in it, we're waiting. Either you did it and got out, or you did it again and got out, or you're in it and waiting. Nothing to do but wait. Is there only two people in this with me? Jackie and Shower Singer? Everybody else got out? Oh, Brent's, Brent's still in it. Okay. <clears throat> Three minutes, let's talk about this trade. This is a good example. Size it for 75 cents, 40 to go, 50 cents. Is that one R? No, but it went to the first target. It's an area, it's profit. Again, this isn't about an exact science, although it did go exactly to 35 and bounced. So if you're risking 75 cents and you make 50 cents, is that a good trade? Yes, that's a good trade. And you can't ignore the fact it went to the first target. And that's why I told Nini to get out. And Galahad, you probably should have gotten out. I don't know if you did or not. Anybody that has a small account that needs to chunk, 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 chunk it out should get out. 
were all the reasons I just said. Now, if you're playing it on through and you believe it has more room to go and you can wait a little bit and you have time, then fine. But this isn't about an exact science. You risk 75 cents, you make 50 cents, it bounces at the first target, that's an exit. I don't think we missed it. I think this is lower, but I'm just saying. This is not an exact science. You gotta play the move. Because we're still up in it, I think it's fine. This looks really good. Just do not want to trade all day today. And classes this weekend, I want kind of just get some stuff done today. Here we go, K KHC. Warning though, I'm on the 5 a.m. show on Tuesday and Gyro's out of town. I mean, I'm gonna run the room, but Tuesday, it's gonna be touch and go because I'm gonna have basically no sleep. I'm gonna be up at 2 a.m. again. I've, I've, I said no for like two months and I just can't, I can't keep saying no. They've asked me, so I'm gonna be on and Gyro can't do the room, so I'm just letting you know. I'll be here, but I'm not gonna have any sleep. Galahad, if you're still in it, that's fine. But if it bounces off at 35 here this next time, then I'd be out. You should not. I gave a lecture the other day, but you you, you come in and you sign out. I, I don't know if you heard it. If you have a small account, you should be getting out as soon as you're up to build your account. And let's just, I mean, I'm going to be so realistic here. In fact, I should start marketing for beginners because it's like, I just, I mean, this to me is common sense. But like, say, for example, here, I'm going to write in the room. Let this keep going. I'm taking that off just so I can write here. Say you make $100. Now, I'm going to make it even smaller. $50 per day. And this is an average. $50 a day is $250 per week. Now, an average means, and that's $1,000 per month. An average means what? Average means you may not make money every $50 every day. It's an average. So one day you may make 100, one day you may lose 50. 50 is an average, so I'm being very conservative here. So that would be $1,000 a month. $1,000 a month times 12 equals what? $12,000. That's not nothing for a part-time job that you would do for one hour a day. And Galahad, you're, no, I'm, I'm talking about an average. I'm talking about the $50 is the average. That's what I'm saying, the average. Average means it accounts for days where the trades don't work, days where trades work more than one hour. It accounts for days that we don't trade. That's an average. Galahad wants to argue with me. Anyways, averaging $50 a day would be $12,000 a year and with very little risk and a very small account. Let's just watch this here because I, I kind of got distracted, but I think this is fine. 35.12 it went down to. Galahad, all you want to do is argue. So, I mean, I don't know what to say anymore. Nothing is good enough for you. Average means not that you're risking $50. That means $50 is your average gains. It doesn't mean you're only risking $50. That's not what I said. You could make that money easily if you listen to me, but you don't want to. That's your choice. You know, we all have free will. We all have free will. I think the biggest challenge for people is well, one, knowing that they have free will, but even when people realize that they have free will, then they still don't know what choice to make. They're still stuck and they can't decide. They don't know how to make a choice because they think that they really don't have a choice. People often feel like they don't have a choice. I have to do this or I have to do that or I can't do this or I can't do that. Hold on, I have to turn the heat down. I'm sweating here all of a sudden. One minute it's cold and one minute it's hot in New York. I, I just, this weather's been insane. Yesterday I wore a winter coat to Fox and I was sweating. It's 55 degrees. But if, if you don't dress warm, then you get sick. And I can't, I can't afford to get sick again. <clears throat> 
Trend Trader is going to follow him on his phone. Well, that sounds nuts, <laughs> but all right. I would be careful. Okay, if you're still in it, you're up. We're going to watch this very carefully now. It's 10 o'clock. Looks great, though. Here, this is exactly what we want. Exactly what you want. You could have gone on the market, too. I was tempted. I almost did. I was tempted, tempted, tempted. But there it goes. Yes, classes this weekend. You'll get the password today. If you're signed up, if you're not, you can email me. Here we go. KHC under 35. 35 on 135. Here we go, under the low. Anyways, Galahad, are you listening to me? Your problem is that your expectations, again, you can't do anything about the trades that lose. You can't. There's nothing you can do about a trade that loses. Nothing. You are going to have some trades that lose. Here we go. K is she under the low? This isn't one of them. This is a good trade. Anyways, you can do something about the trades that work. And that's where you have poor money management. The only way that you can make money is if you make sure that you get out with the winners. You mismanage, well, I'm talking about the options trades right now, you mismanage them. You want more out of every trade. So you're always wanting more. You need to, you need to take what you get and fine, if you do, you'll be up. Here we go, KHC. Today's a good example here. If you got out of this at 35, you didn't hedge your bets, you had a good solid trade, you walk away. If you're still in it though, we're making more and it's dropping and it looks good. I just explained how you could make $50 a day average and still be better off and you want to fight with me. So what, I mean, you know, that's what it is. Here, this went down to 34.90. Gosh, I don't think that's it, but now this is bouncing. Lower your expectations, Galahad. Take the money that the market gives you. Lower your expectations. That's what you should be doing. I'm not saying this for everyone. I'm saying this for him. Although it probably could benefit some people. You'll make more if you lower your expectations. Your expectations are too high. For example, this today, you're still in the trade and that's fine. But you should have got out at 35 because what if you would have taken a loss in this trade today? What if 35 was a low? It was not. You can't afford to be up 80% in a trade, 75% a trade, whatever this was, you know, not one R, but well more than a half, and then knock it out with profit. You don't have that luxury. This was real money today, okay? It is right here. You want too much out of trades, and you're losing instead of taking out the gains. Walmart, perfect example. You didn't get out of that trade with profit, it's still on, but you should have gotten out of it. 34.91. Here we go, we are handing the button here, watching this, seeing if it breaks. Gosh, I really think this does, but let's just look at what the market's doing here quickly. Galahad, you don't understand the concept. I mean, it's just like talking to a wall. It's like you don't understand the concept. You just, you just don't get it. You'd rather lose in a trade than take money off if it doesn't go where you want. I mean, you just, that is how you trade. You will not stop trading like that. 
and I don't know what else to say to you anymore. What is better, a $35 loss or a $250 loss? The fact that you even asked that is ridiculous. You were up positive in this trade. Neither is good. No loss is good. When you let a good positive trade go negative, whether it's $35 or $250, the fact that you even asked me that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You said that the other day. You said that the other day. You missed your exit on this. This trade was positive. You prefer to take a small loss rather than get out with money. And that is exactly the point that I'm trying to make. The fact that you still don't get that is ridiculous. You are trying so hard to lose money. That is what you work every day to do. Your goal should be to make money. And that means the only way that you can make money is if you get out when you're up. Because theoretically, and, and I'm just saying this, theoretically, seriously, if you, if you traded one stock every day, I mean, theoretically, if you took positions on and never got out, you, every trade that was positive would go negative at some point. Like this we're in, it's fine. Do I think this is lower? Yes. Am I calling this as an overnight? No. But theoretically, would this go over our stop if you held it as a swing trade? At some point, yes. It would be, it would turn from a positive trade today, right now, into a loser. So why that the only way that you can that you can make money is when you get out when you're up. Theoretically, every positive trade could be a loser at some point. If you don't get out when you're up and book money, this is like 101 investing trading. Here we go, KHC. Come on, this better go soon or I'm gonna get out of this. Because I really don't know what happens here later today with the market. There's so many things going on. I'd like to get out of this in the 80s or the 70s. I think this can go, but we're, we're hand on the button here now, people. Galahad, I'll finish talking to you when we're done, but you don't get it. Here we go, KHC, 95. You just don't get it. It's like, come on. go though what happened there was there bad press on this or something like what was the news out on this KHC because I didn't read up about it does anybody know not that it matters I don't even care I'm just saying no Galahad you don't get it you don't get it at all If you got it, you would get out when you're out of trades when you're positive. We're giving this a little bit more time, but we're not giving this much. <laughs> Investigation. I can't look at anything else right now. I looked at STMP this morning. I did rate it, but this was the better gap. Here we go, KHC, under 90. We'll look at those things later. Right now, we're going to focus on getting out of this trade at some point here soon. This is a good trade. Here we go. Yep, there it is. Boo, boo, doo, boo, doo, boo. There's 85. 83, here we go. If it doesn't break 80, we're out. Nice call. Back in the saddle again. <sighs> here we go. That's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Not going to deal with it bouncing over 35, but at this point now, it broke 35. Again, I think this can go to 3450, 3420, 34, but I don't know if it goes there between now and noon or what time. Great trade. Great trade, everyone. But if you're still in it, you're up. 
If you still want to hold it, fine. No place to move the stop, though. If you're in it, you're really just riding this puppy out. And it could continue. Here, it could continue right now. I think there was a good exit. 85, 82. Here, here it's at 80. Um, why is everyone yelling about this STMP? This was insane. Would we have done this? The answer is no. I did rate it. I just... If we had nothing else to look at, I would have done this. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I probably would have done Dropbox before this, though. This was the best gap. Here it goes. It saved 83. You could still be in this. I think we had a good exit on it. If you're still in it, fine. You're waiting to see if it breaks 80. It looks like it might. Here it goes. It's, 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 this is fine. If you're still in it, good. Anyways, Galahad, you don't get it, or you would have taken your profits out of Walmart. And I could name a million other stock symbols. I could name a trillion. I could name a billion. So anyways, long story short, I think you're better at day trading because you get in and out of follow me in the morning if you're here in the room. But as far as the options go, you're horrible at taking profits. You're the worst I've ever seen. So you are now wondering why you held this because into the close here you were down $30 and now you're down $200. And that is your biggest concern in life. That has nothing to do with what I, the point I was trying to make at all or the day that I even talked to you. You should have managed this trade and got out when it ran up and got out with profits and you failed to do so. And your reasoning was because it didn't go to the target, which was 105. Even though you were at profit, it didn't go to 105 right away. And it also wasn't 100% return on investment. So you ignored the profit that you were up and you preferred to take the loss or just let it go negative. That is what you do every time. It is ass backwards. And until you stop doing that, you will continue to lose because you're taking positive trades and you're holding them till they lose. So if you have some trades that lose and positive trades that you let lose, then, then what is the result? Losing. And every once in a while I call a huge trade and I tell you to hold it and that trade you get out too soon. The one trade I call every 90 days that is a huge winner, you get out too soon. But it, that's not really your problem. Your problem is really not taking profits. Too high of expectations in your trades when you should be booking money consistently on trades that go right into the money. Here, this goes. This just broke 80. Is anyone still in KHC? I'm not, but it looks great. It looks beautiful. It was a good solid week. Great. I mean, this could go right down to 34.50, but I think we had a good exit because we were in it for a while. We waited for the break at least of 35 in the 80s. But if you wanted to make another 10, 15, 20 cents, you might get it in here. Brent's out. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? STMP, we didn't miss out on anything. We had a good trade that was much easier to do and much better, in my opinion. You know, let's just see what else is going on here. Any questions from anyone? What is today? Today's Friday. Here, this looks like it's going to go right down to 70. Is anyone still in KHC? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's going to go to 34, but I just don't know what time it'll be. Yeah, Jackie, we can do a video after this. Um, there's nothing to do with anything of anything you just said, Brent. No. Anyone have any questions about anything at all? If you're having difficulty, then you should lower your expectations. If you're giving back profits and, and turning pro profitable trades into losers, lower your expectations. You'll do better. If you average $50 a day, which is not your risk and doesn't mean you're making $50 a day, you'd be better off, Galahad. 
you won't do that. In fact, the total amount of reversal in this, again, I don't know what it was. I know you, you well, actually, you said you had a price of 120, ran up to 165, so that's 45 cents. Do you have one contract of this? Again, I keep trying to prove my point, but I'm really gonna give up soon with you, Galahad, because you just refuse to understand this. You wanna think you're right, so keep doing what you're doing, keep losing. 45 cents, you were up. I think you had one contract. So if you had one contract of this, you were at $45. You chose to let a $45 gain go against you, and now you're down 200 some dollars, I think, if you have one contract. Oh, you have two contracts. Okay, even better. So you were up $90, now you're down 200. So you're up $90. You should have got out. Again, if you could book an average of $50 a day, that would be beautiful. You'd make $1,000 a month, but you're not doing that. But you could have actually made almost $100 on this trade. Where is the up? Again, this is common sense 101. I'm going to go over it with you. Even though we did already, even though we went over.